Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today. Just want to let you all know that this is a sponsored video. If you don't want to watch it, that's fine. There's another video going up. But I'm going to be showing you all an awesome game today. If you want to go ahead and try it out, there is a link down below that you guys can click on to try it out. The name of this game is Dawn of Steel. It's a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to go through the tutorial with you guys so y'all can see it. You'll probably see some other videos of later game stuff, but I want to show you guys what you're going to experience at the front. All right, so we're going to go ahead and tap to deploy our rig. And um, so this is kind of a, uh, it's, it's a real-time strategy game, so it is an RTS. But it's cool because you get these different kinds of troops, uh, these different kinds of robots, and you attack all these bases. Everybody has different power-ups and so on and so forth. You drag your weapon right across. It is really, really cool. Um, it's funny because I actually played this for a while, but I signed into a different game center right before I recorded this And it popped up with the new one um, And so I was like, okay, yeah, I'll show I'll show them what what we got at the beginning of the game So that's what we're gonna do right here um, You can see right up here. We have these little drone guys that send out drones You can click over here and you can hide behind uh, the wall before the drone comes to get you You can drag out on top of all these little guys take them out and then you head up you can click and uh, drag as well just like this and um, oop, went off the screen but as you progress in the game guys you're going to get a lot more uh, robots or whatever the heck they're called sentinels I, I completely forgot what it is um, but again like I was saying so I, I played it before and switched my game center over and I enjoyed it enough to really think that you guys might like it as well now um, here's what I want y'all to do for me down in the comments okay I don't want you to compare it to any other games because I think that's annoying I want you guys to tell me how you feel about the game as it is with itself. As you can see these graphics, they look really, really sick. Um, the concept of being able to control your troops, like you actually get to control your troops in this um, after they're deployed, which is really, really cool, um, the fact that you can do that because in other games you can't. Um, so here we go. These are some of the buildings that you're going to have on your base. We can enter our hangar right here, and we're going to see um, our little guy. We don't need to read all this because you guys can watch that. I'm going to go ahead and skip through those. But you can see we can repair our guy right there. He's all healed up, and then we can exit out right here. That's our hangar, so that's where all of our rigs are, so that's what it is, it's called a rig, our little robot guys are rigs. In the bottom right, we have the attack button, we're going to go back out, and we're going to attack. Um, again, I've already gone through this, but I want you guys to see what you can expect at the beginning, um, because I don't want you to be, uh, I don't know, just confused as to like, what the heck is this, this isn't the kind of gameplay that I saw. So, at the beginning, obviously, just like it is, there's always these tutorials. So move behind the wall, so we're going to go over here, you can see we can click and drag, and then this thing right here is a cannon. So while we're on our way over there, we can click on this and see how far it's going to go, and we can barely just tap it right as we get around the corner, and obviously we can take these guys out. So the whole goal behind, before, the whole goal behind hiding behind the wall is just so that we can take this guy out. But our guy's strong enough that I'm not even really too worried about it. That's just a tactical thing that you're definitely going to need as you progress in the game again you have a little three minute battle timer as always for a lot of these things um, and oftentimes you're just kind of hanging out waiting for your guy to do enough damage as you uh, continue upgrading him so again we're just going to use our little uh, three burst missile there to go ahead and take everything out and um, just I don't know keep on working at it but we're going to go through this whole little tutorial for y'all to see and um, I really want y'all to let me know how you feel about it because I think that the uniqueness of the fact that this game is um, an RTS but like you're in the action, like you're more so in the action than other games. So there we go, we're going to go ahead and get that victory up, defeat that guy. Um, we're going to get our, I think it's plasma and gold maybe is what it is. Uh, plasma and credits, okay. Um, and obviously you use those to upgrade so now we get to build defenses. So. Um, it is multiplayer as well. You get to build your own base. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get ourselves a machine gun turret that we're going to build wherever. And look, this is so sick. You can see um, it's rain, like it, it's line of sight. So anything that is around these buildings, that's it, it can't shoot that. So we're going to go ahead and just put it right here and uh, confirm that bad boy. And you can bribe people. It's kind of cool. You can bribe the people that are building it. I've got 153 of these. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and bribe this guy to finish building our cannon for us and then you know what we're gonna do we're gonna go back and attack we don't always have to repair our rigs you can see in the bottom right that our rig is at uh, 74 okay fine I'll enter um, 
It just wants me to show that again. So um, two seconds on that will repair it. Again, as you get higher level ones, the repairs take a lot longer. But that's pretty cool because that means you can attack a couple of times without having to train up troops, without having to wait on anything. Um, you get to just go in and play. And then once your guy is dead or once he needs his recovering, uh, then that is when you send him off and that's when you go do your homework or something or you go to work, whatever it may be. But um, with this one, we've got uh, just a couple of these uh, little sentry gun deployers. I don't know any of the names of the stuff. Destroy the drone spawner. So they're drone spawners. Um, and we're just going to stand right here and kind of take them out. As you progress in the game, uh, you get more rigs that come out and help you. Right now, we've got a shotgun. If you saw the message earlier, it said, try out the shotgun. Let me know how it works. And so we're just getting rid of all these drone spawners right here. Um, nicely done. I'll take that shotgun back now. No, please don't take the shotgun back. Uh, that little green ball that you saw next to the guy that I wasn't able to connect gives you life as you continue growing. So now we're going to increase our command rank as well. Captain, in order to unlock new and more powerful structures for base, you need to advance in command rank. Sweet. All right. So we are at one right now. Um, cool. So we'll go ahead and click on this. Continue. New command rank. Woo! So now we got a drone spawner that we can build. But we can also attack and our guy is at 93%. What is this? What's that red thing? This is your plasma extractor. Okay, cool. Um, oh, nice. So that's just like uh, an elixir drill or something. So that brings you uh, plasma. Now we're on to the final test, guys, where we're going to go in here and we're going to fight this guy. Again, if y'all are still here um, and you're enjoying this, go ahead, click that link down below, guys. Join me in this game and we'll see how it plays. I'm excited for you guys to uh, try it out and just let me know. Like That's that's my, my main reason behind this. Like, yeah, I'm sponsored to play it, but I also like... I also like trying new games just because, um, like, for a long time, guys, there wasn't Clash. Like, Clash didn't exist. There wasn't, um, there wasn't Bloom's Tower Defense Battles. Like, there were other games before all of those, and you never know when the next one's gonna come around. And as this game progresses, I really do think that it has the potential, um, to be, like, the next, um, RTS style of game. Um, so we're just going to continue. There you go. You can see the health that I just walked over. We're going to take out this drone spawner. I didn't uh, use all of my missiles. You have to spread them out enough, which I didn't do. But as you can see, we can just go like this. Woo! And we can turn them around, shoot them all. It's like a, I don't know, like a triple shot missile or something. And now we got to take out this thing. This is their, um, I already forgot what the heck it's called, but it's like the town hall. Um, but again, I really, really do like the fact that you can control your guy as you're going around. We're going to do this. Wait, was that not what I needed to destroy? Oh, crap. Oh, I got to get rid of this weapon, I think. First. And take this out. We don't need to destroy those uh, plasma collectors at all. We'll just keep on shooting this guy as we rotate around it. Okay, no. So I guess we do need to take out this um, as well. And... I'm pretty sure that's all I need to take out. Shoot, I wasn't paying attention. I thought that we already took out what we needed to. But we're going to go ahead and just continue shooting on it. Come on. I want to go back and get my shotgun for you guys to see because the shotgun is ridiculous. I guess we do have to destroy everything so we can get 100% uh, completion on this. The other ones are probably just a little bit easier. For some reason, I was thinking it was like Boom Beach where all you have to do is destroy the main building and then you're good to go. So there we go. Destroyed it all. Victory. Final combat test. And obviously, as y'all know, these are just intros into the game uh, and whatnot if you guys like robotic stuff like space theme stuff uh this game is definitely for you um i, I don't know I'm, I'm really really excited to see what happens from it and this is one of the coolest things right here if y'all are still here don't freaking leave yet because this is one of the best parts about it and it is the single player maps you can see it right here but watch this so these are some of the paths as you go along, you progress uh, in different manners, but we can uh, tap this so we can we can launch an attack on this. Yeah, we'll go ahead and just attack it. And then once we're done with this, we're gonna scroll out and I'm gonna show you guys something that's really, really cool. So same as always, you have your little deployment zone. We'll click on our guy right here and we will launch over um, and get to it. So as you progress and you get other uh, rigs that come out with you, I'm not even gonna hide, well yeah, I guess I'll hide behind the wall. So we're gonna go right there, we're gonna hide behind this wall now, and you can just wait, like if you're tactical enough, you can just wait for your missiles to uh, get all, uh, for the cooldown to be over, and we know that we can take these guys out pretty much after this point. So we're gonna focus one down, then focus the other one down, and take it out, then we're just gonna start working on the rest of these buildings as we just do this. Um, so you can see in the top left, guys, there's damage, 25% done. There's available loot, 61.1 uh, thousand of the 
credits and then 233 of the uh, plasma. So we've got all that to get. It's pretty cool that it shows it to you up there in the left. Uh, and then of course you have the time that the battle energy ends or the time that the battle ends. And then we can just walk right over this thing and get some health plus 200 fill back up. Pretty cool that uh, those buildings drop that off for you. And there we go with another victory. Super easy as you guys know because again these are just tutorials. But you can see from that as long as it, it, it might, let me do this, we might have to do one more for the tutorial. But you can zoom out and you can go all around. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and just go here. Nice, so we're going to claim this. Um, you have to claim sectors in order to fight them. So we'll go ahead and we will launch our attack. And uh, boom. And then, like I said, I haven't gotten to that point because um, as I was progressing... I didn't uh, just continue going along with the single player, but you can go all around the map, which is ridiculous. There's so much on the map. Oh, I have to purchase something? What do I have to oh, nice. So we're going to go purchase this new weapon right here, the MK2. Buy and equip. Sweet. So as you go along, you get freaking sweet uh, weapons. I love robotic style weapons. Like, they're just, I don't know. Well, the whole robotic thing to me is just awesome as it is. Um, so we're going to come up on this guy. And once we get in range, we will do this. And we will head behind this wall right here. Like I was saying, just being tactical right there. And uh, we can walk out around the corner and get to it. And then we're just going to head right over here. Oh, come on. <laughs> I messed up and tapped off. We'll go ahead and take this guy out. Uh-oh. We got another little drone spawner. Come on, take it out. Take it out. It's almost down. Come on, there we go. All right, so we got the drone out of the way, and now we're just going to continue taking all these down. Now let's just go ahead, head on over here, take out this other cannon with the other drone spawner. This one's going to be close when it comes to uh, the time frame because the other ones that we played haven't had or haven't taken as much time. This is going to be a long video for you guys, but I want you all to see everything there is in the tutorial so that you can decide if you do, in fact, want to play it. If you guys don't want to play it, that's fine. But uh, I definitely would encourage you to try it out because, you know, I mean, you know, there, remember there was that one time when you tried out Clash when you were like, I don't know if I should play that, and then you did. I'm not saying this is going to be like Clash or of the caliber, but it is definitely a well-polished, uh, fun, fun game that just has a different, like, strategy aspect to it. The fact that you can control your troops as you're moving along. Uh, Alright, so we can scroll around now. We've destroyed everything. We'll just use this last little missile and take it out. Detected enemies. Nice. Crushing it. Let's head out. Tap to continue. I really want to show you guys what the map looks like after this. Okay, cool. Am I done yet? Five seconds on that. So yeah, look. Here it is. Look at that. So you can scroll around it and eventually, um, I think I'm... Oh no, I'm messing it up now. But I'm pretty sure that eventually you can go around to all of these different areas and uh, just crush it. So that's the game though, guys. Here we go. Gaming Mode done. Yep, that's going to be me. Uh, if you guys do try it out, let me know. Again, there's a link down in the description. Just click on that. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the game. Hope you enjoyed. As always, make sure you keep calm and you play on. I'll see you guys later. Peace.